Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Mercedes. In today's video, I have a hefty amount of polishes to share with you from Glam Polish. There are actually three different collections. Um, they're also available on the website. Some are discounted, which is a plus. I love how Glam Polish always has polishes available for a longer amount of time. Even though some of them are limited edition, they tend to keep them up for much longer than um, other indie brands. So that's always good because you have time to shop. So we have one collection, which is the Elements of Fun collection, and it's inspired by Glam Polish's favorite movies and favorite musicals. We have Bring On the Bling collection, which are four beautiful toppers. Glam Polish makes some amazing toppers, just FYI. And then you have the Classic Cartoons collection, which is one of my favorite themes. There's a lot of cartoons in here that I used to watch, or cartoon themes that I used to watch growing up. Um, so it was really fun seeing the names and seeing the polishes that are inspired by these shows. Um, so if you grew up watching specific shows like way back when, it's going to bring all of those memories back. All right, I have a lot to share with you all, so I'm just going to not blab anymore. So let's get into these watches. We are starting off with the classic cartoons collection, and this one is ah! This one's actually inspired by the ah! Real Monsters. Um, cartoon. I used to watch this growing up all the time. I have like these images in my head of the cartoons. Um, this one is described as a mint crelly with fuchsia, with fuchsia glitter mix, fuchsia shreds, and black flakies. Don't mind my messy application here. I had way too much polish on the brush, so it just kind of pulled everywhere. But this one is absolutely stunning. I love all of the flaky combos in here. The black, the fuchsia shreds, the fuchsia glitters. Everything mixes so well together and it really does pop against that lighter base. I'm usually not one for like pastel colors. I just like springtime. I know everybody loves their pastel shades, but I really... Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of pastel colors and this one definitely leans towards like the pastel crelly-ish sort of side i mean i know it's a crelly but you know it's that beautiful mint color but the flakies in there just ah, they're so pretty they're so pretty they they really are accentuated from this lighter base and they really pop you can see them very clearly i think this is going to be a beautiful polish for the spring and for the summertime as well pictured our two coats of ah with a glossy top coat keep in mind too that you know the more glitters and the more flakies that you have in a polish you may want to consider using a glitter smoother and then your glossy top coat over it in my videos i just do a glossy top coat because i'm not going to be walking around with the polish on for very long so the top coat doesn't tend like it doesn't tend to settle in um, before I take the picture so just keep that in mind next up we have eat my shorts and this one is inspired by the Simpsons um, I actually didn't watch the Simpsons growing up um, I knew the show was around but it just wasn't my cup of tea um, this one is a bright glitter mix with scattered holographic flakies and a clear base this one is so fun so so fun definitely a perfect topper that you can use for the springtime and for the summertime as well um glam polish has so many beautiful toppers like they really do a good job when it comes to making toppers so if you are interested in trying toppers something different um, definitely try glam polish um, the glitters don't settle in their polishes either from experience um, they stay suspended which is what you want um, this one I have it built up in two coats and honestly I think it's kind of pretty on its own um, yes it would look beautiful over a darker color um, or even like a lighter pastel shade but on its own it's just as pretty pictured here are two, co two coats of eat my shorts with a glossy top coat next up we have let's get dangerous and this is inspired by dark wind and duck which I didn't watch this one either um, but this one is a white crelly with matte and metallic glitter mix and a hint of scar scattered holographic flakies Another beautiful, beautiful curly polish, perfect for springtime, perfect for summer. I feel like curly polishes, um, like if you're in the mood to wear them, if you're a seasonal polish wearer, I should say, and I feel like springtime is the best time to wear curly polishes. They just give you that nice, fresh, crisp, like cream look underneath, but still very juicy and bouncy. And then the glitter mix in there is also very fun especially for springtime um i think long or short nails which i didn't mention in my 
previous swatches but i think long or short nails two coats with everything is going to be fine i mean maybe three if you have a really prominent nail line especially with this one let's get dangerous but i mean i did two coats and i found it it was perfect so pictured our two coats of let's get dangerous with a glossy top coat here we have the same thing we do every night pinky this is inspired by pinky in the brain which i sort of watched here and there but my brothers were the ones who really loved this show the most uh, but i do remember it because they used to watch it this one is a dark blue crelly with matte glitter mix and scattered holographic flakies i love this one i love it because of the depth because of the deepness of the color it's just such, such a perfect blue and i think it plays very well against my skin tone i achieved opacity in just two coats i think longer short nails two coats is going to be fine for you i kind of overloaded my brush there as you can see i work with thick coats as opposed to thinner coats and i've been trying my hardest i literally been saying that forever <laughs> to try and do thin coats but i'm just so used to doing too thick coats and just being done but look how pretty this is like it definitely reaches full opacity in two coats but it gives you this still gives you that crelly sort of like squishy look which I personally love and the glitters don't get swallowed up by the deep base you can still see um, you can see that you can still see the glitter mix so like those light blue glitter glitters the pink and purple glitters um, they're so so pretty pictured are two coats of the same thing we do every night pinky with a glossy top coat next up we have I've got responsibilities now which is inspired by the Rugrats and I did grow up watching the Rugrats this one is des uh, described as a light pink crelly with matte and metallic glitter mix this is so pretty for all my pink polish lovers gives you this nice beautiful like squishy base on that first coat but it builds up beautifully on the second coat i think long or short nails two to three coats is going to work perfect for you you also want to be careful with the way that the um the polish applies with with glam polish they have really long stems the polish tends to get trapped on the long stem and then kind of floats down to the brush so just keep that in mind um this one is definitely crelly like curly vibes um i think long nails if you want that squishy true curly look then two coats is going to be good for you but if you are looking up looking to cover up some nail line you may want to go in with that third coat but this one is such a fresh fun spring color i love the darker glitters in this that kind of give it a more edgy look it's very pretty pictured are two coats of i got responsibilities now with a glossy top coat and the last one in this collection is Yabba Dabba Doo, inspired by the Flintstones, which I've also watched. Let me know if you watch any of these cartoons. But this one is a periwinkle crelly with rainbow glitter mix and black flakies. Again, same type of vibe with the first coat always being a little on the thinner side, on the more less opaque side, I should say. Um, again, me just not being very careful with application. The formula is a little more, I don't want to say runny, it's just a little more thinner than i've been used to um so i mean there's that but i mean it's crelly so i don't, wouldn't expect it to be on the thicker side anyways this build up beautifully in just two coats i think long or short nails two to three coats is going to work great for you i love this periwinkle base it leans more towards a baby bluish like robin robin's egg sort of color but in a lighter sort of way if that makes sense um, it's very pretty i think the rainbow glitters in this just make it a super fun polish i can see myself wearing this one in the summertime because of all of the neon rainbow glitters in here pictured are two coats of yabba dabba doo with a glassy top coat now we're moving on to the bring on the billing collection and these are four toppers first one we have here is spring spring bling it's a clear topper with pastel glitter mix and a hint of sc scattered holographic flakies i want to show you it on its own and then i'm also going to show you it's over black which i'm going to do for the rest of them that you're going to see here i think this is a perfect timing for this topper of course with the spring heat wait is spring already here yet or maybe in another week I forget the date um, but the pastel glitters that are in here are so pretty i love how they are much larger right then the holographic glitter that's in here it's very contrasting which i personally love i love it more on its own or i think if you were to pair this over a um like a pastel shade i think it would look even more beautiful um, over black i would just do or over like a darker color i'd just do one coat and i think it looks 
it, it would look fine um, but if you if you had over a pastel shade um, I think maybe like one to two coats depending on on how you like it but I thought this was very fun I love those pastel glitters I think it's very different from what I've seen too next topper here is pretty girl bling again another clear topper this one has neon pink glitter mix and black flakies I love this one just because it's so different from what I have been working with lately and plus I really love black flakies or black shards or anything like that um I did pair this one over black and honestly like of course the black flakies are going to hide in the black uh, base so just keep that in mind if you do want to use this one i would suggest using like um something a little bit lighter but i saw i still thought it looked pretty because the pink glitters just contrasted so amazingly against the darker base or against this black base i thought it was a lot of fun i thought it still looked pretty so you do have an option to either pair it with something lighter or pair it with something darker depending on your mood um I think it also looks really nice just on its own um, I didn't have to do like too much glitter placement it's just like you know the brush picks up so much polish so just putting it down on the nail I was just conscientious of like where it's being spread out throughout the nail if that makes any sense here we have royal bling a clear topper with purple micro glitter sapphire glitter mix and gold flakies so a little bit different than the other ones that you've seen those sapphire glitters whoosh, my gosh they're so pretty they are so glowy um, and on that first coat you do get a hefty amount of coverage and a hefty amount of glitters and flakies this one is stunning over black like wait till you see it the gold flakies just illuminate off of the base the sapphire glitters they they aren't as bright as they are if it's just like on the nail itself but they still have this beautiful like glow to them and they're very distinct on the nail even with the darker base um, on that second coat um, this one built up beautifully on its own like you can definitely wear it on its own you can wear all of these on their own honestly i know they're meant to be toppers but um, nail polish doesn't have any rules right um, i did keep the black um, base with just one coat i thought it looked beautiful that way and we're moving on to the last polish in this topper collection this one is called hollow bling this one is a clear topper with silver hollow glitter mix ultra hollow glitter and scattered holographic flakies so if you love hollow you're gonna love this one because it's hollow everything um, it's even with all of the hollow in there like the components are still very dainty and soft but it does make a beautiful sparkle on the nail over black it is just so pretty you're gonna see that right now just look like look how dense and packed everything is it is like a rich starry night on the nail like it's more stars than night <laughs> it's so pretty so pretty honestly i don't know like if i would want to pair this over something darker or something lighter still contemplating that i think it looks beautiful over black for sure though now we're moving on to the elements of fun collection so the last collection the last collection that i have to share with you from glam this one is chim chim cherry and it's described as a gray crelly with black flakies and, sa and sapphire aurora shimmer this one's beautiful the aurora shimmer glows from within this is like one of those i don't describe it as gray but i think it's that sapphire aurora shimmer that's turning it a little more like to a dusty lavender shade I definitely see i mean i see the gray but i see more like lavender as well you tell me what you think i think two to three coats um short or long nails is going to work perfect for you i built it up in two coats looking at this now i could have probably done three coats um but two is just fine um the black flakies just disperse so evenly along the nails and have any issues actually hit my nail so you can see the ring finger is a little um squished but you know you you still get the idea <laughs> um this one is beautiful i love gray polishes so this is definitely like a no-brainer for me that i love and then with that aurora shimmer that gives it that beautiful glow it's a win for me pictured our two coats of chim chim cherry with a glossy top coat next up we have toot sweets and this one is described as a white crelly with magenta glitter mix aurora shimmer and scattered holographic flakies this is a beautiful polish for the spring and summertime um, again, when I think of Crellies, I think of the spring, um, especially white Crellies. Um, this one went on beautifully for such a like lighter shade. Again, make sure you're working in thinner coats and just be careful with the, the polish and the brush because 
you can get a lot of polish picked up and not realize it, especially with the longer brushes that Glam Polish has. I don't know if, um, I can't remember, I think somebody told me if the brushes are compatible with like wider paddle brushes, I'm not sure. If you know, like leave a comment down below, but this one's beautiful. Like the white is not too stark. It's not too like toothpaste looking. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful shade of white. Um, the pink glitters, of course, they're gonna pop against that white base. Um, I just think of like flowers blooming in the springtime when I see this. Pictured are two coats of Toot Sweets with a glossy top coat. Here we have Step in Time, and this one's described as a navy blue with hollow glitter mix, aurora shimmer, and scattered holographic flakies. Oof, this one is so pretty. It's so pretty because it's so different <laughs> from those Crelly polishes. Um, from the lighter shades, I should say. Um, I love this one. I love the navy blue. I love the hollow glitter mix in here. Of course, the scattered holographic flakies just give that beautiful sparkle. I think long or short nails, two coats is going to be perfect for you. I don't see you needing more than two coats. I mean, look at this. It is just perfection. The glitter mix that is in here is super hollow and super glittery. This would be a perfect like summertime date night sort of polish. Um, I like to wear darker polishes in the summer if I know I'm going to be going out. Um, I don't know. It's just something, something, I don't know. That's just how I like correlate summer nights and nail polish. <laughs> um, this one is beautiful. Definitely one of my faves from this collection. Pictured are two coats of Step in Time with a glossy top coat. Here we have Put On A Happy Face, and this one is described as a green hollow with neon pink glitter mix and emerald aurora shimmer. Another beautiful one in this collection. The green, of course, perfect for spring summertime. It is jam packed with that aurora shimmer. You can just see all of it packed in there on the nail. The pink glitters, um, I love the contrasting effect. I love polishes that are contrasting. It just gives it edge, it gives it something fun. I mean, look at this. It's glowing. It is glowing. It is a beautiful polish. Long or short nails, two coats, I think is just going to be perfect for you. I don't really see you needing anything more than that. Um, for all of these, because of all of the flakies, glitters, all of that in there, um, you will probably want to use a glitter smoother and then your glossy top coat over it to give you that nice plump look. Um, but this one is fun. I didn't have to do any fishing for those pink glitters. Everything just came out perfectly on the nail. Pictured our two coats of put, uh, put on a happy face with a glossy top coat. And the last polish in this collection is Jolly Holiday. This one is described as a pale blue crelly with shif shifting iridescent flakies, aurora shimmer, and bright glitter mix. Again, another beautiful crelly. Glam Polish does an amazing job with their crellies and even a more amazing job with their toppers. And I think one of the main reasons is that their glitters truly stay suspended in their base no matter how long you've had the polish for. I purchased from Glam Polish like years before I even swatched um, and those ones that I have, the glitters are still suspended. Um, so it's definitely worth the investment if you want to purchase a topper or crelly from, from them. I built this one up in three coats just because that base wasn't as opaque as I wanted it to be. Again, keep in mind, this is not like your stark white. It is a pale blue. So it has like that tint of, of of blue in there which I think is perfect I love the bright glitters in here it's so fun anything that has bright glitters it's immediately a summertime polish for me um, I think long or short nails three coats is going to work best for you especially with this um, this type of base that has a more like lighter lighter shade to it pictured are two coats of jolly holiday with a glossy top coat I lied, we have one more, and this is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. This is a hollow glitter bomb with metallic glitter mix, aurora shimmer, and scattered holographic flakies. Um, this one is going to be super versatile. You can wear it on its own, build it up in a few coats, or you can wear it as a topper. Now, there is a lot going on in here, so if you do decide to wear it as a topper, um, you're just going to have to be careful with application so that it doesn't swallow up your base. But this is like screaming summertime, the beach. This is screaming New Year's. So lots of different ways you can wear this and lots of different events you can wear this to as well. I also see this as like a celebratory polish. So like birthdays, anniversaries, if you want to wear something fun. Um, I love this on its own. I don't think that I would wear it as a topper. I think I'd probably build it up, wear an additional coat um, and rock it that way. It's 
beautiful. Pictured are three coats of a chitty chitty bang bang with a glossy top coat. All right, that is all that I have for you today. Let me know if you ended up picking up any of these polishes. They've been out for a couple of months now. Um, again, they're all still available if you are planning on picking up any, if you are just seeing them for the first time right now. There are some gorgeous polishes in here. Glam Polish, their glitters do not settle, which is an amazing thing. Another brand, Cadillacer, is the same way. Any kind of glitter mix, um, they, the glitters just don't, don't settle. Um, which is great because if you buy a polish, you want it to last as long as possible. I mean, at least for me and other people who collect polish like I do, um, you you obviously are not going to get through it. And it's probably not going to be the first thing you put on your nails because you have so many other polishes. So the fact that I can look back in a couple of months, maybe longer than that, and pull out a polish and it still has the glitter suspended throughout them, that's a good thing. Anyways, I'd love to hear if you are picking anything up, so let me know down below in the comments. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.